I've been waiting for these high gain preamp pedals from CC to be released for about a year now. We'll be speaking specifically about the Jim's 800 in this video. And I'll be honest, when I spoke to my friends at TC recently, I only asked about the Recto and 5150 because I've got a bit of a funny love-hate thing with JCM 800s. So stay with me because this story does have a point. <laughs> When I was really young, I was lucky enough to be able to see a lot of hard rock and classic rock bands. And some of the tones that really stood out to me were John Sykes, Doug Aldridge, Zach Wilde, uh, John Norum. And one thing that these players all had in common, obviously Marshalls, but specifically 2204 or the 2203 thing, whether that's the earlier JMP based stuff or 800s. So when I bought my first 2204 JCM 800s, I fully expected it to sound like that. I got a I got a bit of a shock. While a stock JCM 800 is a great sound, the sound I was expecting, I didn't realise at the time, it was based on high gain mods, overdrive stacking, effects loops, slaving, wet dry, wet rigs. So 800s themselves don't really inspire or excite me, I know, blasphemy. I didn't ask for this pedal, but my friends at TC said, we're sending you the others, why not give it a try? And when it arrived, I read the manual which is weird, who does that? And this is why I gave you such a detailed backstory that you didn't ask for. I found out from reading the manual that it's not just a pedal that models a stock 800, it comes with custom mods, like a treble bleed mod, tone stack mod, and most importantly for us caveman types, a gain mod that boosts the gain and reduces the inherent stiffness usually found within these amps. So yeah, there's a couple of minutes that you'll never get back, but I do think it's worth noting because I think they should have made it more clear that it's a higher gain modded version of an 800. So as I mentioned earlier, it's a preamp pedal, which means it will sound best running direct into a power amp or into the effects return of your amp. It can be used into the front end of an amp, but it's not recommended and realistically, you're probably not gonna be happy with the sound. So it has two foot switches, one that toggles between a clean channel and high gain channel, and another that turns the boost on or off. And a really cool thing about the boost is that you can select where in the chain it is placed. This means that if you place it in front of the amp, or amp model, it'll work as a gain boost, like putting an SD1 or tube scream in front of an 800. Alternatively, you can place it after, and that'll give you a volume boost for solos and lead parts. On the face of the pedal, you've got a control for bass, one for middle, one for treble, uh, one for gain, so the amount of distortion, one for the output level going into your power amp, and one that controls the amount of boost. The ins and outs are all top mounted, which I really like, and I find much more useful when attached to a pedal board. It has a USB connection for firmware updates and IR loading, a cab sim out for direct use, and an input and output jack. Oh, and it also has a global master presence control and a switch, which allows you to place where the boost goes. So 
something that I think is a very useful feature is that you can run the output to your power ramp and cab on the stage, but also at the same time send a direct signal out to the front of house or the PA. It comes preloaded with a Celestian impulse response that sounds very good. The only thing I would have liked to have seen a bit different is to have an XLR output for the cab sim DI instead of the jack output. XLR outs are just generally more useful in a live situation. It means that you don't need a DI box or any kind of TRS to XLR converters. Lots of other preamp pedals are either on or off, which means that if you want to switch from a sound like a higher gain sound to a clean sound, you need another preamp pedal to switch to, and ideally some kind of switching system. Otherwise you'll be running your guitar direct into the power amp uh, when the pedal is switched off. This isn't an issue with this 800 pedal because it has two channels, so you can switch between high gain and low gain. I think technically you're switching between the high sensitivity and the low sensitivity input on the real amp. This pedal looks good, it feels well made, the functionality is everything that I'd want from this kind of pedal. You've probably noticed that in this video I've been either demonstrating the sound of the pedal via the direct cab out using the, the uh, Celestian impulse response built in, or running it into the power amp of this cool looking white amp behind me, uh, and that's going into a 212 with vintage 30s and it's mic'd up with an, SM, uh, with an SM57. And so you know that cool looking white amp behind me is the Dualist XL made by a company called RD Amplification. They're really well made and versatile, definitely worth checking out and I'll link them down down in the description. I'm really pleased that they sent me this pedal. It's a nice surprise wasn't what I expected it to be. And if you're looking for modded 80s high gain from like Whitesnake to Gary Moore or, or even more modern uh, bands like Mastodon, I think you'll be very happy with this pedal. I've also made a video for this dual rec pedal, which is TC's version of a rectifier in a preamp pedal. Uh, you can find that video just, just there. Uh, let me know what you think about this Jim's 800 pedal down below and I'll see you in the next video.